When I work with people who want to buy a home, they come to me with this idea in their head of how much they want to spend on a home. And that's really not the correct way to do it. Today I want to speak with you about how to figure out your buying power. Now, it's not about saying we're going to spend $450,000 on a home, unless you have done your homework. So here's what you want to do. The first thing is that you need to get pre-approved for a loan. The lender is going to require some documents from you, and it's not hard. In this day and age, you have your tax returns online, you can scan in your pay stubs, you can get bank statements, you can get all of that. It's so easy. When I had to do it the first time, we didn't have that, that and so I had to go to the bank, pay to get them, make copies, take them there. It was, it was a nightmare. And so I still have that mindset, but it's so easy. You can scan, email, and be pre-approved in no time at all. So don't overthink it, just get the documents that your lender needs. Now, here's how you want to talk to the lender. You know how much you can afford a month, right? So you know what your comfort level is. What, what do you pay right now for rent? And how does that feel? Is it too much? Is it, could you do a little more? Talk to your CPA or your finance people because when you own a home, there are some tax benefits that, that might make a difference to you. So you need to do your homework and find out all of those things. So once you've determined how much money you are comfortable spending every month on mortgage, taxes, and insurance, and then you also need to figure in maintenance, I like to say about 9% a year should be saved just in case something happens. Luckily, hopefully you won't need it, but if something happens, you really, really want to have money to fix the water heater or the heater or whatever. There's a leak. Okay, so number one, get the lender everything they need. Number two, determine how much money you feel comfortable spending every month. Number three, very important. I think you need to go get a pen and paper and write all this down. Number three is how much money do you have saved? How much money do you have for a down payment? Important, important question. Now, Another thing is you don't want to take your entire wad and put it all in the house, right? You need to have some reserves. The lender will probably make you have that anyway, but you want reserves. You want to make sure you have money left over. So down payment and how much you're going to pay a month, very important. Those are the two things that determine your buying power, right? Okay, so when you go to the lender, write this down. When you go to the lender, you say, we have $50,000 as a down payment and we are comfortable paying $2,500 a month for mortgage, taxes, and insurance. Tell me about what programs you have that would accomplish that for me. Then the lender will tell you what they can do for you with a loan, because they've got all of your paperwork, right? And they, they know exactly how, how your finance, financial picture looks. And they will tell you the different programs that you qualify for. Now, guess what? Now, you will get a pre-approval letter that gives you the amount that you can spend on a home. That, it's that simple. It is that simple. That's how you determine how much you can spend on a home. How much do you want to pay a month and what's your down payment? 
what do you have saved? Okay, the, the next time uh, we are going to talk about financing and not giving everybody your credit information until you pick the right lender.